What's up guys, Philly Sports back with another video. Today we got an interesting one. So if you are new here and you stumbled upon this video, like the video, subscribe, and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing the iconic Michael B. Jordan's Creed 2 workout. So for the movie Creed 2, it's a different training than in Creed 1. They wanted him to bulk up to get back to his character Killmonger in Black Panther, but they want him a little more agile for it too. So bulky, but also agile for the boxing role. So when he heard that he was gonna be facing Drago, he was like, I need to bulk up. I'm nowhere near the heavyweights. Like I don't even look close to that guy's weight. So their main focus was for him to bulk up, but focus on the shoulders because him having broad shoulders made him look a lot bigger for the role so that was their key to hone in for four months on just gaining some shoulder size and as you can tell from the movie he really put on some 3d delts so our first workout we got the incline smith bench press for four sets first set 15 reps second set 12 reps third set 12 reps fourth set 10 rep. The directions for this workout are to rest 90 seconds between the chest exercises and 60 seconds between shoulder exercises. Now me being a power lifter that really is a total switch up to like what I normally do in my three to five minutes between my heavy sets and maybe two to three minutes between my um, like accessory movements. Second workout, we got the standing cable fly. Three sets, first set 15 reps, second set we got 12 reps, and the third set we got 10 reps. All right guys, now we're gonna move on to the supersets. We got incline dumbbell press mixed with dumbbell fly for three sets. And the first set is gonna be 15 reps. The second set we got 12 reps. And then the third set we got 10 reps. So my favorite scene from the movie is after he loses that first fight, I mean he didn't really lose, um, Drago was disqualified, but when he goes to the desert to regain his mental and physical strength, oh my gosh. That scene is just iconic. Like seriously, of all the movies like I've watched, like that's gotta be a top scene for me, not 
not just in this movie, but like of all time. It gets me so hyped when it, oh, when he passes out, falls on the ground, and has to get, oh, and when he's slamming the sledgehammer and stuff like that. And then when he puts his foot in the tire and they're going toe to toe, ooh, what a scene. My second favorite scene of uh, both Creed movies is um, when he's on the ground and he has to get up and he just starts slamming the mat like during the fight. Oh my gosh, that got me hyped too. Man, I get so hyped from them. When it came out, honestly, I thought Creed 2 was movie of the year for me. So I've been planning this video for like two years. I've had the thumbnail made for two whole years. I just never found a good situation to do it. And that's just an excuse right there. But like, I don't know. I just never found a good time or like wanted to do it as bad. But we're doing it now, so we're good. Guys, let me know down in the comments, which is your favorite Creed? Creed 1 or Creed 2? Michael B. Jordan is definitely my favorite actor. Like he plays a, a ton of different roles in a ton of different movies that I really enjoy. So I would have to go with Michael B. Jordan as my favorite actor. All right, up next we got the super set of standing barbell shoulder press, but we're gonna alternate the bar position from the front to the back. So each rep, one in front, one in the back, and we're gonna do that four sets. We got 20 reps, then 12 reps, then 12 reps, then eight reps. So that is gonna be combined with seated dumbbell lateral raises. So we're gonna move right into that. Three sets actually, not four sets. Um, we got 15 reps, 15 reps, and then 12 reps. One thing you guys may notice is that Michael B. Jordan does not stay this shredded during his entire life. Like, it is not good to be this shredded. Trust me, I know that thumbnail picture that you see um, with me with the boxing gloves that you clicked on, that was from a couple years back. I would never be like that all year round. And I know Michael B. Jordan does not like being as cut as he does. It's funny because like Zac Efron is like probably number two, number three, my favorite actor. And he's said countless times how it is literally the worst thing to be in that shredded of a shape. Now Zac Efron for Neighbors, he got even way more shredded than Michael B. Jordan does for this Creed role. But um, Zac Efron says multiple times he never wants to have to like cut down to that weight again. And it's so true. Like What you're seeing in the thumbnail, that picture of me, I hated life so much being that shredded. All you think about is food, when your next meal is, how tired you are, how exhausted you are. And you're just, your whole body is drained. You're mentally drained. Like caffeine doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't, like no matter how much sleep you get, you just feel like crap. And nobody wants to be like that all year round for sure. Like that was a two, three month thing for me and I hated it. Like it ruined my whole summer that year. But trust me, when you're as shredded as some of these people get for these roles or like some bodybuilders or physique people get, you don't enjoy life. Trust me, trust me. It looks good, but it doesn't feel good. All right, to conclude the upper body part of this workout, we got bent over dumbbell flies. 
mixed with Smith Machine single arm shoulder press. Okay, all right. So we got three sets of each. On the dumbbell flies, we got 15 reps, 15 reps, then 12 reps. And on the Smith Machine single arm shoulder press, we got three sets of 15 reps, then 12 reps, then 10 reps. But since they are single arm, I have to switch. So we're basically doing a tri set here because I gotta do my bent over dumbbells, then one arm, and then the other arm. So it's gonna be pretty intense. Yeah, these Smith Machine single arm shoulder presses are no joke. These are intense. For all you boxing pros out there, I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm punching. I'm probably not punching the correct way. Just, just go with it. Okay, so the final portion of this workout is a circuit. Now there's three rounds. This is intense. Shadow box for a minute. Jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Shadow box for one minute. Mountain climbers for 30 seconds. Shadow box for one minute. Burpees for 30 seconds. Shadow box for one minute shoulder taps for 30 seconds and then that's only one round so you gotta do that three times this will be hard
Not a pro at these either. I think I'm doing them right. Bro, this is tiring. I give high credit to these boxers who go like nine, ten rounds or whatever it is. This is tiring. but <sighs> these aren't too bad I just realized I never made an outro for this video. If you guys made it this far, please drop a like on the video. Um, subscribe if you're new. Go follow me on social media down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.